Now, we go to the factors, intrinsic and extrinsic factor which influence microbiome. We should know this, like I told you already, to either inhibit them to grow or stimulate them to grow or we want to destroy them, whatever. Then we have to should know. We should know what are the, the factors. The first one, the first intrinsic factor, intrinsic means a factor which belong to the food. The first one is pH. The second one is water activity, reduction oxidation potential, the nutrient content of the food, the antimicrobial constituents mean the components which have antimicrobial properties in the food. Many food have some component like that and then they may inhibit microorganism as well. And the last factor is the biological structures. Either the food is soft or either the food is solid, liquid, or it's very hard. It also determines the capacity of microbial growth as well. So for example, if we look at the biological structure, we have a plant. We have the root of the plant, we have the body, the plant, the trunk, and then we have the branches and we have the leaf okay so normally the leaf are easily spoiled but the branch is less sensitive the trunk is even less sensitive and the the roots are even more stable because they have different biological structure and then it's some part become more difficult for microorganism to to, to invest, to invest, or to to grow, okay. Or if you look at onion, for example, onion has several layers that cover inside like this, so they are protected very well. Then microorganism cannot attach or cannot grow fast, or even the egg. Uh, the egg has several layer from the cell that microorganism cannot penetrate in easily as well, right? And then many food component or material they have some some constituent inside that have antimicrobial. If we take this as example again, the onion, onion has several components which can prevent microbial growth, or even garlic. For example, they have certain components to inhibit microbial growth, so they can last for a longer time. Yeah. In the past, the people who make a chain of garlic to wear uh, like a necklace uh, they wear necklace but they use like garlic and then they will not get sick often and then they think that maybe the gods are afraid of garlic something like that so we not make them sick but actually the main reason is because the garlic contain many antimicrobial constituents and then the the people who who wear this will not get sick easily, will not get infected easily. That's happened in the past. Eh? Right, we go back here. Nutrient content. Oh, I'll just give you another example here. If we look at antimicrobial constituent, the normally uh, animal, animal material and plant material, plant material normally have more antimicrobial constituent compared to animal a material for example if we get sick if we get cough then we can take some leaf of some plant we eat some leaf and we may treat the cough already maybe we can already treat this the saw the saw throw yeah we have infection in the throat exactly we can use some plants to treat it because in this plant there are quite some constituent which can inhibit or it can kill the microorganism at the throat for example and then we get healed or in animal material there are also antimicrobial constituent because when the animal are alive they need to prevent the penetration invasion of microorganism so they always have defense system or some defense components in the body yeah, but normally plants have more than the animals. Because plants, they live in the environment, they live outside, they stand still at one place, they cannot run away, they cannot cover themselves, hide themselves. 
So they are just exposed to the germ, exposed to the insect, exposed to the sunlight, radiation, whatever. So they have more component, more mechanism to prevent, to help them survive. Right, so nutrient content. Nutrient content, then if the food has more nutrients for humans, then also more nutrients for microorganisms to grow. Milk is actually very rich in nutrients. So if milk has high number of microorganisms, then it will be spoiled soon because it gives a lot of nutrients. Bacteria will grow very fast. And then for these three factors, we discuss one by one because they are more important.